the signs what a beautiful vision to see everyone enlightened and the world of darkness is changing to the realization that the highest aim we can have is the true knowledge of our oneness and the method of real communication to accept that between all beings of the universe is a flow of love and light given by the source of life, God. And with this acceptance in the presence, letting go the past, letting go all plans and open up to the reality in the here and now, in the holy instant. All systems would be transcended through the power of truth, through the power of love. But now we are in a world where this vision might be in the heart of many or of some with the hope one day it will happen. So what to do now? The enlightened Son of God who came in the world and split himself in billions and billions and billions of pieces and made up those bodies so that they can see with the physical eyes and physical senses the projected images which the one spirit still united is constantly projecting as a substitute for the love of God. This world which invented the Holy Son of God like an experiment in the consciousness of being separate from the Source, the Creator, from God Father. In this very world he invented signs. Why? Because the projected pictures he made being in conflict with himself that he didn't know anymore who he is he started to analyze in the hope that when he would really deeply understand all things, all pictures projected, then he could control the world better and the human beings could live in a better way. So the aim of a true researcher, of a true scientist is definitely to help There are other parts where it doesn't seem to be like this when they construct weapons. But let us put this aside. The main aim is to understand in the depths all the things and to help. But what is the science really studying? They study projected pictures, illusions made up from the idea of separation from the source of truth, of life and love. So actually they study nothing. But still, as the bodies have been invented, they have to be fed and they have to drink and they have to breathe. So when we want to transform the world, definitely the human beings first need that very cooperation that the bodies are sustained and also the circumstances of life are tolerable. Under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, we have to let go all what we knew in the past. The Holy Spirit, the voice of God, has been given to us in that very moment when we started to think 
about war. That means to think to be separate from God. And then we invented death, conflicts, diseases. And the more and more we try to help and study, the less we are successful. So the Holy Spirit is the only means coming from the other level of truth to help us. And therefore God Father has given us this teacher in our mind which can, who can help us to transcend all what we made and especially the science. Then, under his guidance, science can be very useful. It will be transformed. For example, informatic can be used to give inspirations to all people who use internet or PCs that they get informations how to transform their consciousness to be in peace, free of diseases and more and more happy in all the relations he has. So in any field of science the love of God has already a plan to transcend this very field, to make it useful instead of using science for weapons I don't mean only weapons like guns or tanks or whatever but I mean science as a science of separation of splitting up again and again might it be in medicine and biology and anything it's always the basis of separation. The science guided by God's voice will be the opposite. It will be a science of integration, a science of communication. The aim would be that all spirits, all beings, all holy sons of God open up to the total reality of oneness. And everyone is given in the intellect pure thoughts coming directly from this source of truth and love with the fullest realization to reconstruct a beautiful world, reconstruct in this way that the old world is transcended to new systems. So one part of science, like quantum physics, started opening up to those inspirations. And now, more and more will come, might it be medicine or nutrition science or whatever, education, under the guidance of God's voice, a scientist who realizes that he is one with all, that he is practical all and wants to heal the world and really help. His tools, which he has studied, can be used in a new, unique way. So it's nothing lost that we did those things we did in the past, but we have to be totally detached from the knowledge as we used them and be open to the inspirations we get from God's voice, the true reasoning, so that a new science based on the beauty of oneness, on the beauty of love, on the beauty of cooperation and true communication will really heal the planet Earth. Thank you for listening.